Hey guys, the objective of this video and the video following this will be to find the external wind pressure on the leeward wall. The pressure formula is the exact same, just breaking that down to its components. Um, we've already found in the windward case, Ka, Kc, Kl, Kp, C dynamic and the density of air, so we don't need to find those. Um, v des theta, I'm going to leave to the next video explaining that, but that's actually going to remain constant. I'm going to explain this later, so just ignore that for now. Just in this video, we're going to be finding CPE. Okay, this is the only difference in terms of this formula compared to windward. Okay, and the design wind speed, which we'll be talking about next in the next video. So the external pressure coefficient, CPE. Now we're going to be using um, table 5.3a on page number 32. So if I just zoom in, we're going to be using this table, and we'll see why in a sec. So just some data. We have a flat roof, which means that alpha, the slope of the roof, is less than 10 degrees. D on B, which is the ratio of side wall to windward wall, is 60 on 60. So it's 60 on 60. And for the tower, it will be 20 on 20, okay? Which means they're both one. So for the um, second, so for the flat roof and for the, um, for the flat top roof over there and the flat roof on level two, D on B are both one which means that using table 5.3a, table 5.3a reads roof external, um, sorry, we're looking at leeward wall, sorry, we're using table 5.2b. Walls, external pressure coefficient, CPE, for rectangular enclosed buildings, leeward wall. So, um, well, roof shape is just flat, so we can just sort of ignore all this stuff. We just need to go to roof pitch, okay? So you can see that our roof pitch is less than 10 degrees because it's flat. The D on B ratio we said was 1, which means that our CPE value is just going to be minus 0.5. Okay, so it's pretty simple. CPE is minus 0.5 from table 5.2B on page 32. Um, now we're going to be